See, there's two ways to respond in a difficulty. See, he talks about if anyone is caught in any transgression. Now, I'm going to break that down more in just a moment, but here it is. Because you're, the, you're part of the family, because you're brothers and sisters in Christ, there's going to be people who stumbled along life's way. Now, Levi, can you help me here? Can I ask you to help me here? You'll look at me like, I don't know about this, dude. All right, put your Bible aside for just a second. I want you to do something, all right? So I want you to come up here. Wait, 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 take a breath. It's going to be all right. All right, it's going to be cool. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to walk up the steps, and then towards the top of the step, I want you to trip and fall down. Can you do that? Wait, 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 wait. Can you do that? Okay, I love your hair. Don't you all love Levi's hair? I'm very jealous of Levi's hair. All right, so Levi, we haven't rehearsed this, have we? Okay, so you're going to walk up the stairs, you get to the top, you're going to trip, and you're going to fall down, and then just stay there. Got it? Go. <laughs> Give him a hand. That was awesome. All right, now wait, 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 wait. Stay there. So if I was to come over and go, Levi, you have to look at me, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Turn this way. You can, that's cool. Okay. Levi, didn't you see the stairs? Don't you know, don't you know how to walk upstairs? Oh, come on, man. They're about six inches high. You have to pick up your feet every time in order to get from one step to another. I mean, I, I understand that your parents not teach you how to walk upstairs. I mean, come on. Let me help you out, brother. Here's the deal. This is the way you need to do it. So watch me. Watch me closely. Here we go. This is how you walk upstairs. Okay, you got it? I'm 64 years old. Surely if I can do it, you can do it. All right, so that's one way to respond to someone who trips and falls down. All right, get back up. Some of y'all are going, that was mean. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. All right, now come back here. Now, same thing. Walk up the stairs, trip and fall down. <laughs> He's really good at that, isn't he? All right, now, second response. Dude, are you okay? Are you all right? Man, what happened? <laughs> Man, let me check it. Is, are you okay? Is your ankle okay? Do you need any help? Do we need to call a doctor or anything? You think you're okay? Yeah, man. Now, listen. I, man, I'm I just so sorry that happened to you. Man, I don't want to be here for you to... Let's, let's sit here for just a moment, and we'll just kind of chat for a little bit and make sure you're okay. So, did you get dizzy or anything? Or <laughs> You can go back. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Levi. All right, so obviously there's two responses to the same situation. One response was, surely you know how to walk upstairs. Surely you can do that without falling down. What is wrong with you? Why did you fall down? Let me show you how to do this. You say, well, why are you doing that? because I'm afraid that's how sometimes the church responds to people who fall down. See, the Bible doesn't say there's, there's a possibility you're going to fall down. The Bible says, no, when you fall down, when you fall into transgression, it's going to happen. Listen, brothers, I fall down. Sisters, I fall down. You fall down. And there's two kind of responses. You can have one response that says, what is wrong with you? You've gone to Sunday school all your life. You've read the Bible. You've gone to youth camp. You've been to retreats, disciple nows. I mean, come on, your parents have taught you. You've been homeschooled. Surely you know how to do this simple step spiritually. Why did you fall down? What's wrong with you? Or you come alongside him and go, oh man, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry this has happened to you. And I'm here. I'm here to help you. Did, is there something you need, some medical attention? Some, is there somebody I can get to help you? I'm going to sit with you here for a while until you feel better. Look, look, at, look at what the Scripture says here. Brothers, If anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should what? Now, I want everybody to say that. We should what? Restore. Restore. 
him in a spirit of what? Gentleness. You see, if anyone is caught in transgression, the New King James Version, if you have that version of the Bible, which is awesome, it's another great translation, it translates the phrase this way. If a man is overtaken in any trespass. Many Bible scholars believe this to be a more accurate translation of this phrase. The picture is this. It's not that Levi came up here and went, dude, what I want to do is walk up here, trip, fall down, embarrass myself in front of the whole church. Well, I asked him to do that, so he had to. But, I mean, if it was by himself, he didn't intentionally sometimes do that. But sometimes life gets the best of us and the, and, and the world we're living in and, and the sin in Christ we want to overcome. Sometimes, look, sometimes it overtakes you. And you trip and you fall. Listen, Warden Wearsby puts it this way. The word overtakes, overtaken carries the idea of being surprised so it is not to a case of deliberate disobedience. Now, Levi didn't come here today going, you know what? I can't wait for Pastor Poldy to pull me out of the crowd and ask me to walk up and trip and fall down. He, he didn't know that was coming. I overpowered him with the with ask, right? This is, the Bible knowledge commentary puts it this way. Look at the screen. The thought is that of someone running from sin, but sin being faster and overtakes and catches him. Brothers, if, if anyone is outrun by sin and therefore tackled by sin and tripped up by sin and his transgression, these things are going to happen. Dr. John MacArthur uh, talks about this sentence in this way. Listen, I quote, the first responsibility of a spiritual believer who seeks to restore a fallen brother is to help pick him up. When a person stumbles, his first need is to get up, and often his needs assist him in doing this. When someone trips and falls down, the first thing they need is not what is wrong with you? How many of you heard this? Don't raise your hand. You know better than that. What God's trying to give us in his word is when, when you and I, when someone trips and falls down because sin has overtaken them, the first thing they need is someone to come alongside them and what? Pick them up. Now, not to say that truth doesn't matter, not to say that, that something doesn't need to be talked about, doesn't mean something needs to be discussed. That's not, we're not avoiding that. We're just saying compassion happens first, and then the communication of the correction happens later. Later. 